Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing Week's YouTube channel. Today we're here in Seattle, and today we are boarding the Norwegian Bliss on our seven night Alaskan cruise. So if you want to follow along with us, then you're in the right place. Make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. Let's go. Like Lewis said, we're here, we are in Seattle. We love Seattle, we love all things Pacific Northwest. Ask me why we live on the southeast side when we love the Northwest. I don't even know how it works. But anyway, we're here today. We're boarding this big old buddy and we're gonna go to Alaska, so we're super excited. So today we're gonna show you the embarkation process, uh, the most affordable, fastest, and best option, in our opinion, to get to the cruise port. And then we're also gonna show you how to actually get on the boat, so the embarkation process. So make sure you stick around and yeah, let's go. You said embarkation twice. No, I'm saying it three times, embarkation. All right guys, so we flew into Seattle last night uh, we arrived at the Seattle Tacoma Airport and then we're staying at the Warwick Hotel downtown. In order to get there, we took the Link Light Rail, which is the public transportation option here in Seattle. It's super efficient, super affordable. Trains run very frequently. Uh, and it was $7 per person each way for about a 40 minute uh, train ride to get us downtown. Uh, the other option is you can take a, an Uber or a Lyft if you want to. That was about $60 to $70. Definitely much more affordable to take the Link Light Rail. Highly recommend that. Uh, if you want to check out where we stayed at the Seattle Warwick, we'll have a separate video link in the description below for that. Uh, and then to start our day off here, we went and stopped at Pike's Public Market, and that's where we got our breakfast. And then we took an Uber right over here, so we are ready to go. So next up, we're going to be showing you the embarkation process here at Port Seattle. So let's go. Let's go. So just kidding, I misspoke. Linked tickets are $3 a piece, so that was $6 total for the two of us. Yep. Now, an Uber from the airport will take you about 25 minutes. A, uh, the light rail will take you about 45 minutes. So depending upon if you're in a rush or not, or if you want to be dropped off directly at your hotel, something to consider. Where we sit at the Warwick Hotel, it was like a four block walk. So just make good choices. Yeah. It's definitely not a very bad walk, you know, but you are carrying your baggage and we yeah. showed up in the middle of the night. So you do have to consider that, you know, major city walking around downtown at nighttime. So judge your own com comfort level on that one. But yeah. honestly, we've not had any issues the couple times we've been here in Seattle. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. So uh, the street behind us is called Alaskan Way. That's where your Uber or your shuttle will drop you off at. There's plenty of porters along the way who will grab your bags if you already have brought your uh, tags. Uh, and then, um, or you can drag them up here yourself and drop them off over here at the pier. So we are cruising on a Pier 66. Yeah, so we dropped off the bags. We already had our tags. So yeah, now we're going to go to the cruise port. All right, and if you do not have your tags, if you forgot them, go over to the white tent and they will print them for you or give you to give you the tags to fill them out. And if you do arrive like a day earlier or so uh, inside of the cruise port, there's plenty of things to do in and around Seattle. Um, one of my favorites is to do the aquarium because the aquarium is like four blocks from here. <laughs> uh, check out Pike's Market. That was that's always a cool thing to do. Uh, in this case, we'll go down the street. All right, now that's out of the way, uh, we're gonna head over and get in line. Um, we do need our passports for this one because we are stopping in British Columbia for a day. So uh, make sure you- Mandatory stop in British Columbia. Mandatory stop in You have to stop in a foreign port if you're on a foreign flag vessel. There you go. All right, so fun facts there. Uh, other than that, we're gonna hit up Juno, Skagway, and Ketchikan. Uh, we have a day at sea as well as a day in Glacier Bay. So super excited. My goal on this cruise is to see all the whales, all the seals, and maybe a bear. That would be awesome. Super excited. Yeah. I know we're going to see plenty of tourists. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, guys, so you do have no, uh, no you didn't bottle toss your... pop. It's right there. That's the water. It's empty. All right, we're in line. You can't bring any water with you. You can't bring any beverages with you. But on this point, make sure you have your documents and your passports ready. All right, so when you guys check in, you can do so online. You have to upload selfies. And um, that kind of helps go through the process a bit faster. So we're gonna get the security down, get everything scanned, uh, and then we'll actually check in and sort of pass security. All right, so make sure after you get through security, make sure you know which deck you're gonna be at. So if you're in the Haven suite or if you're in the regular suites, we're on deck 14. <laughs> so we do have a balcony, like club level, but we're not at the Haven. So there's that. And also make sure that you have your passport or, I don't know, I guess you can do it with the birth certificate process. I don't know. Uh, but then <laughs> on top of that too, you also need to know your room number when yes. you check in. They're going to ask you that. So if you don't know your room number, it's on the app or mm -hmm. on your baggage tag. Yep. Alright, let's go to the uh, Get checked in. Everywhere we go, Louis makes friends. Everywhere we go. Unguaranteed. So I'm going to security guy down there. <laughs> Making friends? <laughs> and, uh, you know, no trip to uh, Seattle would be complete without a Dayton Space Signal. 
There's like a UFO hovering over those buildings, isn't it? So Norwegian, I did have to, whenever I checked us in a couple days ago, uh, we had to pick a time to actually be at the port. Unfortunately, uh, I wanted to be here earlier and that just didn't happen. Oh well, so uh, my check-in was at 9.30, Luis's was at 1, 11.30, and it's currently 1.30. So for this to let us on. We managed but, to miss both of them. Yeah, we managed to miss both of them because of course we did. Someone needed a rain jacket. Someone wanted breakfast. Yeah, I did. And a, and a Pike's Place t-shirt. Well, it was a cute t-shirt. I needed a t-shirt. I didn't get one last one right here. I needed a rain jacket. <laughs> Alright guys, we're all checked in. We got our cards, key cards. So we are in room, uh, doesn't say on here, but that's fine. I think we're in room 14200. Yep. Check-in was pretty easy. Sorry, I know, it's just, the camera's heavy. Um, make sure you check it online. They give you your cards here. We're in the line for like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, it wasn't that long. It was a long yeah. line, but there's so many people checking in. It goes pretty quick. Yep. All right. So we're going to be on the boat here in a second. Let's All go. Right, let's go. So for some wayfinding here, you come up the escalators over there. This is Lenny coming to check in. And then coming over this way, this is where you actually get in line to get on the boat. Man, that tap water here is pretty good. Yeah. A lot better than the sulfur springs crap we get I back in Florida. Know. I don't want there's a lot of things I don't like about Florida that's one of them so yeah it's all minerally nice and cold yeah what's that like yeah, cold we water just, out of the tap? yeah we just get warm nasty sulfury water I know all right let's get on the boat let's go let's go <laughs> this way to the ship and make sure you guys are taking along with us because we have a lot of cool things planned for this vacation right so we're going to be um obviously cruising and give you guys all the he's not paying attention giving you guys all the down though what's to do on the uh, on the ship but we're gonna be what Kayaking. We're taking a train ride. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna hopefully see some whales. See some, see some whales. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Yeah. All right. Here we go, y'all. So my station E. So we're gonna go this way. So on your key card, it is printed. So make sure you follow the key card signs so for your bus stations. We're on the boat. <laughs> we're doing it. We made it. You're doing like a little carrot. Care dance. Get yeah, care dance is way better than no, I do it again. Sorry. No, I'm not doing it again. That was your one and only shot. <laughs> you missed it, you missed it. Come on, give the people what they want. Wait. <laughs> no. Alright, fine. Okay, that's all you get. And we have to meet at our muster station as soon as we get on the boat. Yep. Yeah. Alright guys, muster station is all done, so we're on the boat, we're all good. Uh, we're going to check out the Freestyle Daily to make sure you guys are hanging out with us so we can show you guys what's on the next piece, or on our next video, which is going to be a full trip tour. So yeah, um, here's Lewis with your pro tips for Embarkation Day. Alright guys, so here are your pro tips for embarking your Alaskan cruise. I would say number one is make sure that you show up a day early. Uh, we all know that flights get delayed all the time. Delta stands for doesn't ever leave the airport. You can definitely get stuck behind. You don't want to miss out if you spent thousands of dollars on your Alaskan vacation. It's worth spending the couple hundred dollars extra on a night here in Seattle, so fly in early. Pro tip number two is when you arrive at the port, make sure that you have all of your travel documents, your passport, birth certificate, whatever it is that you need, as well as any medication or anything that you're gonna need because you can't get to your room right away. And also be sure to bring a few small bills so that way you can tip the luggage porters at the port. And pro tip number three is be sure to check in online ahead of time. That'll definitely save you quite a bit of time getting through the lines uh, and also read throughout everything that they have available on there. There's some lists of prohibited items and things you don't want to get stuck having to deal with any of that stuff back at security. So that's going to do it for us today. Remember to hit that subscribe button because that would really help us out. We really appreciate it. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. Hang on, something's not right. No, nope, I just hooked it up. Just, I was dusty, I'm sorry. Delta stands for does not ever leave the airport. There's no not. Okay, you got like a ton of people. Okay, that's not. That was just okay, babe. What was your third one? Uh, All right, guys, so here are No, your... I can't do this because the lady behind you doesn't have any, the, the, she's not wearing any clothes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't, we can't do that one. What do you say? So you need to live longer. You guys get over this way. Um, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Hit that subscribe button and let's go. Let's go. Let me try it one more time. Okay. I feel a little apparently, flat. I mean, the, the bus is now a paid actor in as, as is the helicopter that's yeah. buzzing us over the head. Right. Stop the bus. <laughs> Driver, move that bus. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and now it's louder than it was before. Is it, is it picking it up? Yeah, of course it is.
it is. It's a diesel engine, bro. It's coming this way a little bit. But you're, you were too close to the camera. That's <laughs> Our seven night Alaskan cruise. So, so definitely much more affordable. Ooh. Ooh. Was it recording any of that? Nice. What'd you go, Christine? You don't have to yell because I'm right. literally right here. Okay. You have I know, but I gotta, have, you gotta hype it up. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. God, this camera's getting heavier and heavier, I swear. Mm -hmm. Let me do that again. I'm hot and I'm sweaty and this bag is so heavy. <laughs> I was like, we're dropping it off too. Yeah. All right. All right. That's good. Oh, perfect. So I'm not holding, having to hold the camera up. And of course, the bus turns off now. <laughs> what is life? Um, 